A certain document first brought Solid Snake to my attention. It described a truly remarkable soldier. Big Boss. Military men and mercenaries alike dubbed him the greatest soldier who ever lived. They all knew him, but few had met him in person. Many doubted his existence. Most legends have their roots in myth, but Big Boss was the real deal. A true living legend. An official military dossier verifies his existence. In the 1960s, he helped invent close quarters combat, CQC. Then, ordered to covertly mend the growing rift between two global superpowers following the Cuban Missile Crisis, he slipped into the Soviet Union on a solo sneaking mission. The document claims that Big Boss prevented World War III, that he was a true patriot. This document detailed the entire affair. The military had revealed Big Boss's virtue to the world. The man I seek is his successor. The man I seek is Solid Snake. To maximize on its most valuable asset, the US military began experimenting with cloning in the 1970s. Dubbed Les Enfants Terribles, this project created a man nearly identical to Big Boss in physique, prowess, and potential. That man was Solid Snake. Born from the Pandora's box of human cloning, he was a second big boss. Original and facsimile, Big Boss and Solid Snake first met on the battlefield. In the early 1990s, Big Boss devised a plan to control all the world's wars. Thus, a mercenary dispatch company, Outer Heaven, was born. It was there that Big Boss began developing a new secret weapon, Metal Gear. A bipedal tank that could launch a nuclear attack from anywhere on Earth. The very existence of Outer Heaven threatened to upset the fragile balance of nuclear deterrence. The world's military powers responded and shortly thereafter sent a single man to infiltrate Outer Heaven and bring Big Boss down. That soldier, a rookie member of Foxhound, was Solid Snake. Defeated by Solid Snake, Big Boss fled to Zanzibar land to resume development of Metal Gear. Solid Snake returned to infiltrate Zanzibar land, kill Big Boss, and dismantle Metal Gear. And that's just what he did. Snake completed his mission without ever knowing Big Boss was his father, his genetic blueprint. No one told him he was Big Boss's clone. The Outer Heaven Uprising, the Zanzibar Land Riot, that's how history records these events. But history doesn't know that they were two chapters in a tragic tale of patricide.